All right. Verse 9, and we're continuing that Paul and Barnabas, Barnabas were sent by God to the Gentiles. And we get to verse 9, and they got there, and they met this guy who was a false prophet, also known as a sorcerer. The only way that you can know the difference is in whether or not you are full of the devil being used as a prophet and you lying or you're not paying atten attention to God's word is to check the word to make sure. If you are a false prophet, the word calls you a sorcerer. And we got that out of verse 7 and 8. Okay, verse 9. Then Saul, who also called Paul, filled with the Holy Ghost. What did he say? Set his eyes on him. He said, look at you. Paul looked straight at that guy and said, I'm looking at you. And he didn't just look at him and said, oh, full of subtlety. You old scoundrel, you slick, you shady. In all mischief, you ain't up to no good. You child of the devil. This is what Paul called this guy. The enemy of all righteousness you against God you are an enemy of all righteousness with you not he said oh I'm sorry will you not cease from preventing perverting the right ways of the Lord Okay, now I'm reading in King James, so sometimes it is difficult. So don't feel bad if you don't, you stumble with that. But what he said, he said, man, you are full of the devil, you scoundrel. You slick, hungry, mischief, knowing that your heart is not right with God. And will you stop? somebody from hearing the word from the Lord, the right ways of the Lord. He said, I'm looking at you. You trying to stop me from telling these people the truth? Man. I'm sorry. You are of the devil. And now behold, the hand of the Lord is upon you. And you shall be blind, not sin from the sun for a season. And immediately there fell on him a mist and a darkness. And he went about seeking some to lead him by the hand. And that's the word of God. I'll stop right there, y'all.